Here's another video from the Predictions and Results series, and this one is on neutrinos from protons. But first, uh, let's recap this particular EWT prediction that we'll be discussing today, and you'll find this in an earlier video. The prediction comes from particle collider experiments, and in particular, detecting neutrinos. And in the prediction earlier was that as particle collider energies continue to increase, a neutrino will be detected, and furthermore, that as it continues to increase, perhaps even one day to uh, potentially supernova type energies, if it's even possible, that the vast majority of the output from uh, collisions would be neutrinos. So again, this was uh, predicted earlier, and now let's fast forward to some very exciting news. Published on July 11, 2024, was this, and it appeared in the Physical Review Letters, and it's the first measurement of the electron neutrino. Electron neutrino is the smallest neutrino, often just referred to as neutrino, from the LHC at CERN. Okay, now why is this uh, very important for being the first uh, electron neutrino to be, be found? And, and by the way, CERN recently had found other types of neutrinos like muon neutrinos, but this is the first, the smallest electron neutrino to be found. Now, that paper is, um, let's just summarize it this way, right? And without having to read the paper, simply put, it's this. Proton, proton collisions in a particle collider produce a lot of different particles and have for very many, many years, but now for the first time found an electron neutrino, the smallest neutrino. Great, another particle being discovered. But we have to ask the question, why? Why an electron neutrino? And, and this is the reason for the question. Protons in the standard model are composite particles, and they're composite particles that are made of three quarks according to the standard model. And so if a proton contains three quarks and it collides with another proton which contains three quarks, wouldn't you expect the uh, separation to be quarks? Right, there is no neutrino in that original model, so where does the neutrino come from when those two particles collide? So that's the question, why? Why is the neutrinos? Um, but EWT predicted this and it's not a surprise and I'll explain why. But first, before we even get into particles and neutrinos, it's worth just a quick recap on atomic elements, which were once thought to be discrete elements like hydrogen or helium, and then eventually were found to be related based on proton numbers. The different atomic elements are simply just a combination of protons and neutrons in an atomic uh, nucleus. That's really the proton number that is important because uh, you can predict different atomic elements, the ones that weren't discovered when this was finally found. You can predict them because of uh, their energy or mass level is based on the proton number. Now let's get back to particles and you'll find uh, this also in earlier EWT videos. But in EWT, the fundamental particle is the neutrino, the electron neutrino. And it, just like protons building different atomic elements, the fundamental particle, the neutrino, can build other particles too, such as the electron. Now the proton's a little bit more complicated because it's a composite particle. Let's just focus on the neutrino, other neutrinos like the muon neutrino and the tau neutrino, or the electron and the, uh, the tau electron, the muon electron, and other particles, but I'm just simplifying it here to just a few. And go watch other videos if you want more information. But the point is, is that all particles are based on the fundamental neutrino. And stability happens at certain uh, arrangements of particle numbers called K. And just like atomic elements, uh, this can be predicted for different particles to appear because they can be linearized based on the particle number and uh, energy. But energy in this case, though, is, is not as straightforward. There's a EWT uh, calculation for it where the particle number K is taken to the fifth power. Again, uh, watch other EWT videos or go to the website for an explanation of the equation uh, that produces this. But point is it can be linearized and the idea is that the neutron, neutrino is the fundamental particle. 
Now you also find this on the EWT site because it went beyond just linearizing it. There's a lot of um, similarities between particles and atomic elements at certain uh, magic numbers for stability. So it's probably based on the arrangement. But again, we're not going to get into the details of this. We're going to go back to the prediction and what recently uh, was published. So now let's take this information, um, what has just been explained from the EWT model, and let's go over that collider experiment again and why it's not a surprise that the electron neutrino was found and furthermore that probably a lot more will be found as uh, collision energies continue to increase. So let's just recap this. Let's take that model of the proton, a composite particle now made of other particles that are made of neutrinos, the fundamental particle. And now with this view, not quarks, let's collide these together. Now, at certain energies, which continues to increase, what's called pentaquarks um, begin to appear. You know, first uh, found roughly about a decade or so ago, and more pentaquarks continue to increase and be found um, because collider experiments um, have more energy. And really what it's doing, instead of three quarks now, you can find all, all five being separated because one is what's called an anti-quark in the pentaquark model. We're still not to neutrinos yet. That's just separating uh, the quarks, which are really tightly bound together with, with gluons. But the energies that can separate, uh, break those gluons, this begins to appear. And then, now more electrons and positrons will begin to appear as those bonds are really broken and those particles become more, truly what they are and not quarks. And electrons have already been found from proton collisions, so this is not necessarily new, but this prediction says that the more and more will be found as energies increase. But as energies increase even further, and this is the exciting news for today, is the electron neutrino was found from a proton-proton collision experiment, and this prediction says that there will be more, and especially if we can ever reach really, 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 really high energy levels, it should not only be the vast majority will be neutrinos, but possibly every everything that comes out of a proton-proton collision would be a neutrino, breaking everything down to its fundamental particle.